Shirley, and I teach guitar, ukulele, and bass here at REW Music. Why did I fall in love with the guitar? Well, I always loved, I was always attracted to music. Um, you know, tried piano a little bit, tried trumpet, and then my grandpa gave me a guitar at the end of my 12th year, and uh, it was, the action was like this, you know, the strings are like impossible to press down, but I knew there was something exciting about that, and pretty soon I got a new acoustic and with a little better action, and uh, it was just something where I could kind of be in control. I was, I could go in my room, and no matter what happened during the day or what was going on out there, I could kind of go into my zone and I could just work on, you know, improving one small thing, you know? And that's all you do, just work on like one little thing at a time. The best thing about teaching music is, I would say the relationships um, that you form over time. You know, when I was first practicing, I'm like, okay, I get better at music, get better at music. And then the older you get, you realize, well, it's not just music, it's relationships and finding some really great people. And when I have a, a student that's got a positive attitude and having fun with it and growing, you know, there's a great relationship there being formed. And even if they eventually have to go away, maybe go to college or something, that relationship will always be there. And so that's kind of fun to think about. I make lessons fun by trying to find a, maybe a jam where I can find something for you that's kind of difficult for you, but you can do, and we can kind of jam on, and maybe I can uh, do something interesting over the top of that, and we're making real fun music, and we're, it's a real live jamming musical situation, and I try to keep it fun by that way, by utilizing uh, drum backing tracks, and so it feels like we're playing in a rock band, or it feels like we're playing in a jazz band, so that's, that's how we do it. You should take lessons with me because well, if you're interested in getting better at guitar, I would love to help you. It's one of the things I get a lot of joy out of, seeing people get better at guitar, hearing them change. Regarding the Allstate uh, jazz audition that I just performed. There are a few pitfalls I would say to watch out for. I would say, um, you know, having a good teacher is going to help guide you through this process first and foremost. Second, um, make sure you're practicing the, the melody, the chords, and the solo in that order with the metronome because that's how you're going to have to perform it in the audition. So read the fine print on that audition sheet and follow it to the letter if you can and uh, you know, practice it with a metronome. Utilize every resource you have. Uh, make sure you check in with the original recording and practice it slower than you're gonna perform it. Practice it faster than you're gonna perform it. And uh, remember to have fun with the song because if you have fun with the song, that will convey to the audience. <laughs> Thank you.